Now to the latest on the coronavirus, a pill to treat COVID-19 may be on its way. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with the San Diego doctor who's involved in the search to create what's being called the holy grail of treatments. As businesses reopen and masks come off, it's worth remembering how scientists view this virus. I am realistic to understand that I will be dealing with COVID-19 as an infectious disease doctor probably for the rest of my career. We're not going to probably get to full herd immunity and we're going to have cases um, all the time. UC San Diego virologist Dr. Davey Smith expects a spike this fall or winter, and that's why he's overseeing several government-backed clinical trials around the world to find better treatments. He says the next big frontier is to find a powerful pill. It has become one of those holy grails. The holy grail all along has been an oral antiviral. Right now, the best early treatments we have for COVID are lab-made antibodies. But these monoclonal antibodies have to be infused, a process that takes time, staff, and space for doctors like Christian Ramers at Family Health Centers of San Diego. What we've wanted from the beginning is something that's easy, that's pill form, that we could use really quickly the way we use off Tamavir, which is an oral antiviral agent for influenza. Now there are at least three promising pills for COVID in clinical trials. All three contain tiny molecules that mess with the virus's ability to replicate. This is just like throwing a monkey wrench in the machinery uh, to stop that virus from making copies of itself and really buy time for our own immune systems to get the upper hand and clear the virus. Before a drug gets approved, it has to undergo three phases of human trials. Pfizer has a potential pill in phase one, the stage where scientists are trying to find the optimal dose in about 60 people. This pill was custom made for SARS-CoV-2. Dr. Smith is overseeing the trials on that drug, along with a candidate called Camastat that was originally developed for another disease. It is actually used in Japan uh, for pancreatitis. It's not here. It's not used here in the United States, but it is used in Japan and has since the 1980s. So there's a long safety track record for that drug. Camastat just finished phase two, where they begin to gauge the efficacy in a few hundred volunteers. The drug that's farthest along is a pill from pharmaceutical giant Merck called Molnupiravir. The Merck drug is further along because it was originally made for SARS-CoV-1 senior um, and for another coronavirus called MERS. That pill is now in a phase three trial involving about 1,500 volunteers. All of these trials are still blinded, meaning even Dr. Smith doesn't know the results, but he expects one of these pills will be ready and authorized before the end of this year. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. All three pills are designed to be taken within the first few days after someone develops symptoms. Two of the drugs are being tested at locations here in San Diego, including UCSD, Kaiser and the VA.